Hello, so it's just been over a week since I planted these in this hydroponic system, homemade hydroponic system, and it's about time that I change the water to prevent Pythian problems from occurring. So, uh, before I show you how I clean my system, this is how they're doing anyway, I'll show you that first. So, they're doing pretty good. So it's growing a little uh, shoot out here. I'm going to cut them off. I don't want them. You can uh, get these to turn into new plants. But I've got nowhere to put them so I'm not going to. Roots just starting to adapt just starting to get a little white hairs coming off I'm going to give, the, I'm going to give these roots a bit of a clean because they still had some muck on them the system's a little bit dirty there you go, that's the same it's getting some uh, white roots coming off the browns, the old stuff that was in the soil but since I put them in the hydroponic system they're uh, starting to go white So. I'll just take these out for now. Like this. Just got a bowl of water just to keep the plants in for a moment. You don't want the roots to dry out, otherwise, it'll uh, harm the plants. So, I'll just take these out, put them all in here. Oh, look at that one. He's really going for it. He's got some extremely long white roots coming out of it. Yeah, he's really going for it, that one is. So I mean this is just a just a just a week's progress. You can see that one's doing it as well. So I'm just doing this to prevent a Pythian problem, because I had that with my basil and the last system, so just give it a quick clean out, I'm going to change the water, clean the roots. I don't know if you can see that, I'll just move it down. But there's lots of uh, soil and things that could hold disease, so I'm going to, going to get rid of all that. The reason for changing it. So, I'll... Uh, Show you how I clean the roots and how we'll clean the system. So this is how you want to clean the roots. Just wanna put the tap on a little bit and just gently massage the soil off. Try and uh, be very gentle but get as much of the dirt off as you can. They will, they will get a bit, they will get cleaner. And then you just want to do this with all of them. So, let's clean the system. Pour all the old water out. Stick a bit of hot water on. Just give it a bit of a rinse. Try and thoroughly, thoroughly clean everything. best to do this when you've just planted them from soil to do it once a week or once every two weeks just at the start and then uh, after that it'll, uh, you won't need to do it so much so just clean that clean this and then we'll want to put it all back together put some nutrients in so I filled the system back up with water. Now I'm just going to put the nutrients in. I use this vital link A and B. Pretty good. Just a couple of mil in this. Back 
stuck in that. Just want to give it a quick mix up. So this is all they're doing anyway. Growing a little bit, which is good. I'm not sure if I'm going to get any strawberries, but it's worth a try. But the roots are a bit cleaner. There was some soil still on them. See any dead leaves? Just take them off. The plant will spend more time and energy trying to kill the leaves than it needs to, and the uh, shoots. You want the water to be quite a lot lower when the root's quite long like that. It mix the mix the roots want to grow out to the water a little bit more. So just cut the dead stuff off and the shoots that is trying to grow, get rid of them. That's about it. And there you have it. That's a clean system. So if you've got any comments uh, or questions leave them in the comments box below and thank you for watching